Hey guys, what is going on? Exciting day in the shop. I just finished up five new Oxblood Double Shot Scout backpacks. That's my own design. The Scout backpack is the design I'm very proud of. And as you can see, I did something uh, a little bit different with this pattern actually. It's almost taking the concept of like a hole cut. Instead of making a uh, front and back panel and then stitching the sides on, the front and back panels are all the same piece with the sides. So I have to cut out a large portion of the hide in order to achieve this pattern. But I think they came out just beautifully. I'm super proud of this one. This is all Seidel's Oxblood Double Shot, five and a half ounces thick, so it's nice and supple. It's basically that would make for a really good boot leather as well. You've got an outer cargo compartment. This outer cargo compartment is a similar design to the overall backpack as well. The outer cargo compartment is also basically one piece. The top flap, the back, the sides, the front, they're all one piece, artfully crafted together. So really all you need to finish off this component is a single stitch across the bottom and up to the top. Same here. We see a single stitch starting at the front and going up the side. And so I'm really happy with this design. My other ones, like I said, had two separate panels that I'd stitch in. So I thought it would save me a little bit of time. Let me know what you think. Do you like the other version better or not? I think though they came together beautifully and they will be available on my website, dalesleatherworks.com. I make the bags to go with the boots that we all know and love. It took me a couple months to put this patch together, but I'm very proud of how it all came out. And I'm proud of the design, and I'm just, I'm proud to be a member of the community, of the leatherworking community and the boot lover community. Thank you everybody for your interest. So let's talk a little bit about what I did differently with this one as well. Over time, I realized that this carry handle is a lot better if you get a nice thick piece of leather and fold it over in on itself and then stitch that down and then rivet it down. Um, there's also another piece of Seidel Oxblood double shot in there. So it's a really nice cushy padding. So it's really ergonomic when you go to grab it. Shoulder straps are adjustable at the base. So depending on your frame, you can adjust that. You could tighten it or loosen it. I've been going around with my uh, Scout backpack for probably a year and a half now. I've taken it to Colorado, I've taken it to Puerto Rico, and uh, built up some wonderful memories with it, and it's just patinated up wonderfully. It's my everyday carry. I don't think you need a specific sort of excuse to wear this bag or to carry it around. Just make it your new man bag. You know, that's what I do. When I'm going somewhere, I, I load up my Scout. It's nice and small and compact, but looks amazing. I get tons of compliments on it. It's really a nice piece, and especially if you're a dude who's into gear like me, and if you're into leather like me, then I think this would be a wonderful piece in your uh, repertoire. <laughs> this back panel is, uh, it's also got another layer, another panel stitched on top of it that houses the, the anchors for the straps, the D-rings, everything in this piece is all 100% raw Japanese brass. There's no cheap materials in this anywhere. There's no none of those cheap snap rivets. The roller buckles are all super nice. Raw Japanese brass as well. Basically almost every rivet has a, a leather washer on there. You can see it. You can see it at the base of this one. Leather washers. It adds support and reinforcement to the rivets. And that way if you ever need to remove the rivets. Uh, it doesn't damage the leather and you just put another washer on it holds up and I think they look cool as well so and uh, another thing I did with this the connector straps connecting the d-ring to the primary shoulder strap uh, these are actually double layered I don't know if the camera is capturing that but I did a double layer there just so that you've got super duper tons of protection if you like to load your bags up with really heavy stuff this will be up to the task so anyways once again, available on my website, dalesleatherworks.com. Thanks so much for watching. I will see y'all in my next video.